we're all so heartbroken and shocked and surreal. The family of an Edmonton woman still in mourning after the death of 36-year-old Lindsay Bruno earlier this month. Edmonton police conducted a welfare check at a home in this central Edmonton neighborhood about two weeks ago. When EPS arrived, they found Bruno deceased. An autopsy later confirmed she died from a homicidal gunshot wound. The suspect, believed to be responsible for this homicide, is now dead following an RCMP-involved shooting near Rocky Mountain House that same morning. This has to stop. There has to be a way to, to take this more seriously um, because it, it can't always end with two boys not having their mom. Bruno leaves behind her two sons and so far over $30,000 has been raised online to help support them and cover funeral costs. The overwhelming support doesn't come as a surprise to her family. It's not surprising. She was a mom first before mm -hmm. anything else. She was so proud of them every single day, every way Lindsay handled everything with grace and dignity and beauty. Kaylee hopes women can learn one valuable lesson from her loss. Keep your boundaries up. This is too many. This is my fourth funeral for a woman I know being killed by their partner. In Edmonton, Laura Crowe, City News.